Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video on my channel. And inside of today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the worst 10 Brawlers in the game right now. So just as we did with the best Brawlers a couple of days ago, of course, when the update drops, we like to look at the worst and the best. So I think th things haven't changed too much. But anyways, just want to share before we get into the video that it's actually my birthday on the day of uploading this. 1st of July and I'm 24 years old. So I'm starting to feel a little bit too old now. I feel like I'm creeping it closer to the 30 a year's mark but just want to say thank you guys for always supporting me every single day and of course thank you for the the actual the early birthday which has been a lot of you guys wishing me an early happy birthday but thank you i appreciate it but before we get into the video then make sure you send a credit code that'd be greatly appreciated and without further ado let's hop into it all right guys jumping into the 10th worst brawler in the meta right now we have bb so bb just continues to get outclassed by so many other tanks but the main problem with bb is that she's just so easy to counter as well, there's a lot of tanks in the game, right? But BB, I feel like her uh, attack can just get cancelled out too much. She really revolves around getting a good knockback and getting a good bubble off. But in the most part, I don't think she was used a single time in monthly finals. And I don't think I've really seen any point in using BB. Maybe she was kind of like an off meta pick in some high maps like Hot Potato, for example. But still, I'd rather just go in other options. So for me, I think she's just so outclassed. And also, when you consider what the meta is, especially some of the best brawlers in the game, you've got Shelly, for example, who just completely wrecks BB. So for me, she's definitely at the bottom of the meta. So next up, as the ninth worst brawler in the game right now, I went with Rosa. So Rosa, it feels like whenever I play in the right matchup she can actually seem to pop off a little bit but again this requires a lot of really weak brawlers for her to even be somewhat good i think there's just so many brawlers now especially with the vision gear and just scouting capabilities a lot of top meta brawlers just completely wreck rosa you know shelly again for example can just break open all of her grass and break open any walls that she has for cover so it's not really any moments where i'd really consider picking a rosa she used to be like a good counter option to like ash for example in competitive but she hasn't been picked in competitive for a long time since sneaker uh, fields has been uh, removed so for me i think rosa has to be one of the worst in the game right now okay so jumping into the eighth worst brawl in the game right now i went with byron so it pains for me to say it because byron is one of my favorite brawlers to play i always you know pretty biased and think he's underrated but for the most part he's really bad at it. he wasn't used at all in monthly finals it was used effect like literally a couple of times and he has a bad really bad win rate because the thing about byron is that it just gets countered too easily so many aggressive brawlers it takes him so long to get his super and his super was always, always like his like get out of free jail card basically where even if it was an aggro on you you could use your super to deal damage to them and then of course heal you up as well but ever since they nerfed it for four hits to get his super i just think he's so squishy so vulnerable and there's so many other better picks out there again it might be a little bit of an underrated pick in some circumstances you know getting like a pocket heal when it comes down to like ring of fire for example or kaboom canyon but i just think there's just way better mids out there next up as the seventh worst brawl in the game right now we have chester so chester's always been in my bottom 10 i think i've realized that maybe i was underrating chester a little bit but i still think he's easily in the bottom 10 no doubt about it everyone agrees the same as well so i've just seen his viability increase a little bit since shelly started to come to light people realize that the very fast movement speed with chester i think is very fast is actually pretty useful considering the amount of hp he has but as for that for the most part there's still just so many better options out there i think he's somewhat of an underrated pick when it comes down to hot zone for example he's got some pretty decent supers there i've seen him used sometimes on some bounty maps like uh, layer cake but after that got removed from the power league rotation maybe his viability will go down a little bit so i feel like he is pretty underrated but still a lot of times he just gets outclassed and he just doesn't really pack the damage that he used to have okay so next up as a sixth worst brawl in the game right now we have a colt so colt unbreakable walls have been the kind of destruction of colt right he used to have a gadget he used to be able to break open any wall he used to be able to see and that was always the kind of niche that colt had but now there's just so many of his best maps in the game have unbreakable walls and it's just never really that good option right now i think there's only probably a few scenarios where you know colt could be somewhat of a good surprise pick i can think for example he used to be like a good surprise pick on split used to be a decent option in like safe zone maybe kaboom canyon but i'm talking you have to be so good to play a colt you have to consistently hit your shots really well he's one of the hardest brawlers to play and more often than not there's just a better wall break option out there there's just a better brawler that can just do his job so much easier right, guys jumping into the fifth worst brawler in the game right now we have Ego. so Ego's jumped to a few spots mainly because i've seen his use rate in competitive gulp a lot so 
In 3v3 modes, I feel like it gets countered too easily, but in a power league draft format, I think as a last pick, it's actually a sneaky, pretty good option. I've seen him in like split, for example. I've seen him in a lot of other scenarios as well. I'm trying to think of some of the other maps. I've seen him using like field goal where it can counter a thrower and also like his squishy mid. He's actually a pretty solid last pick in some options. So I think he's a little bit better than some of the other brawlers around him, but still, don't get me wrong. He's really hard to use and really hard to pull off. I just think he has a little bit of a better niche than some of the other brawlers, but still, don't get me wrong, he's still really bad. So next up, jumping into the fourth worst brawl in the game right now, we have Gale. So Gale got completely destroyed probably about six months ago or so now. So many nerfs to him, and it's just made him pretty unusable when it comes down to competitive. I've seen him in some ways be a little bit underrated, but... I just think there's a lot of other tank counters out there that can just do a much better job. You've got Shelly, you've got Otis, you've got Colette, you've got Ems, you've got so many brawlers like that. I mean, maybe if all of those are banned, you could perhaps go Gale. I've seen him be somewhat useful in a few different scenarios in Hot Zone Parallel Plays, for example. Or maybe like a really, uh, well, a map that has a lot of walls and a lot of grass because that's the kind of way that Gale thrives. He needs a lot of grass because his main attack can scout the grass pretty easily. So like pin or punt. And then you need a lot of walls because you need to get those stuns off. So for me, I think he can be somewhat underrated, but same time, he's actually really underwhelming. Alright guys, so jumping into the third worst brawler in the game right now, we have Bulls. So pains for me to say it because again, I'm a little bit biased to Bull because I really enjoy playing him. But let's just face it, there's just hardly any ways you can get away with playing a ball. There's just a lot of other tanks that I'd rather go. I'd rather just go an egg or an heist, for example, because you're able just to build up your super a lot quicker, uh, for example. And for me, ball just feels like he's just a walking uh, super machine, basically. Like the enemies are just going to be able to feed their super from you pretty easily. And once you've run it out of your gadgets as well, it's just so hard to get value out of Bull. It's just, it's pretty easy just to forget him out of him, right? It just doesn't really do anything. He's pretty terrible. So I think the only way I'd really use him is maybe on Pit Stop or Hot Potato. But still then, there's just so many tank counters out there. Bull just doesn't really do anything right now. Okay, so jumping into the second worst brawler in the game right now, we have Jackie. So Jackie, again, has just fallen off in the meta. Whenever she receives any type of buff, she goes up a little bit, but she's always in around like the bottom 15. And now I just think she's at a point where she's just absolutely terrible. So there are maybe a few circumstances you can play a Jackie. Like I'm talking Canal Grande where there's some unbreakable walls, but you could just go other brawlers. You may as well just go like a Buster or you may as well go on Ash or just Buzz or just any other tank than Jackie. She's so easy to counter. She has no range. And once she runs out of gadgets, Again, she's just a walking super machine. So for me, it's just really not a Jackie meta. And you've also just got so many tank counters like Shelly. It's just, you just can't do anything with Jackie. All right, guys, so jumping into the worst brawler in the game right now, I went with Frank. So Frank right now has like zero usage in competitive. There's just not even a single reason to even consider a Frank. I've probably seen Frank used maybe once or twice in competitive in a whole in a like a year and that was literally only because the enemy team didn't really have a tank counter i think it was on backyard bowl because he has so much hp but literally that's the only reason i've seen frank just to use his pure hp he's just i don't know there's just no place for him really in a competitive meta at the moment it still can be somewhat useful on like brubble for example but i'd rather just go someone else i'm trying to look through all the maps as well and off the top of my head there's just literally no map i think oh yeah frank's a really solid pick of course he has a lot of HP, but he's so easy to counter. So many brewers interrupt his super. And again, you've got Shelly in the meta, who Shelly just completely deletes her Frank, just toys with Frank. So for me, he has to be easily the worst brawler in the game. All right, guys, it's going to be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this one. So for me, I don't think too much has really changed in the bottom 10. I know there's been some buffs to a lot of underwhelming star powers, but it's not really been any buffs to all of these brawlers for a long time. You know, Bull, for example, completely forgotten about. You've got brawlers like as well like rosa who's just been at the bottom of the meta for a long time frank you know he's a pretty decent at low trophy ranges but he's been terrible in competitive for such a long time so hopefully you know we've seen shelly rise from one of the worst brawlers in the game to one of the best you know hopefully some of these brawlers at the bottom will get their light pretty soon but anyways that's gonna be it for today's video i hope you have an amazing weekend guys and also not too sure whether we'll be uploading on sunday but let me know what you want to see in the comment section below whether i do or not might take the sunday off but that's gonna be it for today's video guys hope you enjoyed it don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys next time